I say has made a real difference. Great to boost radiance. Mwah. Chef's kisses. This could be your savior. Hello, and I'm just Yuki from One Eye Beauty, the place where all the Korean beauty info in one eye. Today, I am in my bathroom to show you my highly requested autumn and winter morning skincare routine. With the colder months just around the corner, now is the perfect time to reshuffle your skincare shelf and prepare before the real chill kicks in. Today's show is kindly partly sponsored by Stalvana. What this means is that the products shown in today's show are a mix of my own products that I purchased with my own money and someone gifted by Stalvana. I'm only featuring gifted items that I genuinely feel are great and relevant to this content. We we have a lot to get through today. All of these are available from Starvana, so go and enjoy my discount code ILF10 OEB to have some fun autumn and winter skincare shopping after watching this show. Before we kickstart, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to show some love and support. Kamsamida, thank you so much. Before I start, I'd like to let you know that my skin type is dry, sensitive, and mature as I'm in my early 40s, but all the products I'll be showing today will not only be focused on my own skin types, I'll be explaining how these products will be beneficial for other skin types as well. Before we start with washing your face, if you've got concerns with large pores, then I'd highly recommend for you to start your morning routine with this product over here. One thing, Jojoba Golden Organic Oil. You don't have to use this product, it can be any jojoba oil products in the market. So if you've got concerns with the large size pores, first thing you do is just leave, leave a couple of drops of this jojoba oil on the area you've got concerns with large pores. You put it on and leave it for about 3 to 5 minutes. This is what I've learned from Jaina, amazing Korean beauty expert. She seemed to have a perfect skin, but this is what she does to minimize the size of her pores. First thing in the morning, and you can just leave it on and go and start making coffee or read something, newspaper, iPad. There's so many things you can just leave on and do in the morning. Okay, I'm ready to wash my face now. To use as a morning cleanser, I really liked Isn't Tree Yam Root Milk Cleanser. This one is really lightweight and it emulsifies almost immediately after rubbing in your wet hands. It was really light, gentle on my skin because I, I like to use something that's not heavy in the morning whilst cleansing really well at the same time. I finished that one, so I've now moved on to a different type of cleanser that is just as lightweight as this, which is a bubble cleansing foam. For this, I've got this one over here, a unique Centella bubble cleansing foam. This is packed with 69% Centella Asiatica extract. Look how amazingly bubbly this is, yeah? Can you see? Ooh, it's like a cleansing mousse almost. You just rub it and it just emulsifies really quickly. So you can see and there we go. Oh, so gentle and smooth. It just feels really light. This is suitable for all skin types, including dry, oily, troubled, and sensitive. A really nice, gentle cleanser to use in my morning routine. So refreshing. For those of you with acne prone and troubled skin types, if green tea works well for you, then I have another bubble cleansing foam that I want to recommend over here. Neogen Dermalogy Real Fresh Foam. They've got different versions of this and the one I want to recommend for you guys is this one over here infused with 100% green tea water and 99% natural ingredients and look it's got similar like bubbly mousse like texture can you see here? It is slightly thicker than the Ionic one still it's a very gentle bubble cleansing foam Highly antioxidant and antibacterial, so I highly recommend this for those who are troubled or acne prone skin types. And if you like green tea, mm, it's got really refreshing smell as well. If this ingredient works well for you, then I highly recommend this gentle bubble cleansing foam. And once again, just like I told you in my night routine show, for morning routine as well, use a look on water. If you use water that's too cold or too hot, it may damage your skin barrier, so always stick with a look on water. But in the morning, 
to wake myself up fully, I like to mix it up a bit with a bit of cold water, like cold a bit and then go back to lukewarm, cold and then back to lukewarm water, yeah? But not too cold though. Now moving on to the toner, you can use the same toners as you use in your night routine. Really, you don't have to change all your products for night and morning routine. Some can stay the same. And then I recommended you two toners enriched with fermented ingredients. Let's bring that clip back in just for a bit. Now let's move to a toner. In autumn and winter, I like to use a nourishing toner with fermented ingredients. Why? Because it's nutrient rich. It boosts skin hydration and it's high in antioxidants, so it helps to prevent signs of aging. My absolute favorite toner packed with fermented ingredients is this one over here. Number then number three, Super Glowing Essence. I love this essence. It is so nourishing with 50 types of different fermented ingredients. I just use my hands, yeah? It gives antioxidant and nutrient boost to my skin. Ah, oh, it's perfect for preventing dullness and like its name, it leaves a bit of a glow as well on your skin. It does have a fairly strong fragrance though. It's kind of like a botanical herby like smell. I find the smell like almost therapeutic. I love it. But I did notice some saying that they don't like the smell of this. Hmm, I think it's great. But if you're one of those who doesn't like the smell, I have another option that you can choose. Dr. Soroko Kombucha Tea Essence. This is Uni's top pick when I interviewed her when she visited London. Infused with 78% kombucha tea extract. Highly effective fermented ingredient that's rich in probiotics. And this is also a great dupe to this famous essence from Fresh that also contains similar fermented ingredient. It has a lovely milky texture. Mm. And this is fragrance free. It's so nourishing. It gives a really good optimal balance of moisture and oil. So gentle and nourishing. For those of you suffering from intense dryness during autumn and winter, I'd highly recommend this one over here. Lambelle Super Natural Moist Lock Toner. I've shown you this product before when demonstrating my five-step routine. This is such a moisture-rich toner with a bit of a milky texture. I just use my hands. I think it's the best tool, to be honest. Yeah, I don't like to use toner pads. Just use my hands and put heaps on it. This is the key for deep hydration. Just put loads onto your face. No need to save your skincare products, seriously. The secret to Korean skincare is that it's so affordable and products like this is huge, you know, it's a jumbo. How big is this? This is 500 mils, 500 mils, yeah? So affordable and massive. Just put loads, guys, for deep hydration. So plump and hydrated. Now moving on to the serum, do you know what I love so much about autumn and winter? The fact that the sun rises late in the morning, which means that I can apply on my vitamin C serum with full comfort. You know, vitamin C can lose its efficacy under daylight, so I love how I wake up early in the morning because I'm an early riser, I wake up at 5am and it's still pitch dark, so I am confidently apply on my vitamin C. The one I'm going to use today is this one over here from the face shop, Multi Vita 10% Serum. This contains 10% of multivitamins, including 5.5% of ascorbic acid, pure vitamin C. It also has panthenol, so without dehydrating the skin, it gives all the skin brightening goodness. I say vitamin C has made a real difference to prevent dullness and skin texture for my skin. Vitamin C is crucial in my routine and it's great to boost radiance in colder months. So I'd highly recommend for you guys, anyone, even for those with young skin, not just mature, vitamin C is a great serum to add to your routine and add comfortably in the morning as well. And like I told you that it, it can lose its efficacy, vitamin C, when exposed to daylight. But do you put on sunscreen? 
No problem then. I'll show you the sunscreen later on, yeah? If you want to find out more skincare ingredients to tackle your dark spots or any other skin concerns like acne or anti-aging, I'd highly recommend you to download my free skincare guide, top three ingredients your skin would love. I receive emails from people thanking me for this guide, so I want you to benefit from this as well. It's completely free, so go and download it. If you haven't already, I'll leave its link in the description below. Moving on to the eye cream now, I like to brighten my eye area in the morning, so I'm going to choose this one. Good old Vita C Dark Circle Eye Cream. Whether this helps to fade away your dark circles, I'm not too sure to be honest, yeah? While I'm still unsure if this eye cream has made a difference for my dark circles, but my friend and assistant Victoria says it's made a huge difference for hers. Check out her amazing before and after photos. I had to ask if I could share these with my audience because the results are incredible. Thank you, Victoria, for letting me share them with everyone. But it does have a really nice, but has a perfect lightweight yet viscous texture so it stays well around your eye area without going into your eyes you know i hate that i've mentioned that many times in my previous shows you know any eye creams that's too lightweight that it goes all into my eyes are a big no but i think this does help to give a bit of a woof and brighten the area it is infused with green tangerine extract, so it moisturizes and adds vitamin C to my eye area, so it is fantastic. Now I'm gonna wrap it all up with a moisturizer, and in the morning I use my absolute favorite moisturizer for deep moisturization over here. Corserex Hyaluronic Acid Intensive Cream. I think I'm almost done with this one, can you see? I haven't found any other cream that is as moisturizing as this so far. This just leaves my skin to be moisturized and hydrated all day long. By far, this has been the best moisturizer for my morning routine. This one keeps my face feeling moisturized all day long. It lasts, seriously. The moisturization that lasts for a long time. This guys, this oh, one of the best product from Corserex. I will be doing a massive Corserex product review video soon, categorizing it as best, so-so, and neck, like similar to what I've done with Beauty of Joseon. So make sure you stay tuned by subscribing and hitting the alarm button. If you've got sensitive skin and suffering from redness, you just want a moisturizer that will calm your skin, I'd highly recommend this cream over here, Aviv Heart Leaf Cream. I have praised about this cream in my previous night, autumn and winter skincare videos, so let's bring that clip back in. If your skin goes dry and irritated by the cold weather, you've got to try this. It has like a lightweight, like shebat like formula. Let me show you here. Oh, so soft and silky. It feels delicate on the skin and it's packed with skin calming ingredient, 100,000 ppm of heart leaf. Also infused with panthenol and allantoin. It's soothing, soft, silky, moisturizing, and it helps to strengthen your skin barrier. So gentle. I think everybody should know this cream. Oh, this will help to calm redness, dryness, and any irritation as well. So. This would be a great choice for autumn and winter. Ah, oh, a bit. You've done it again. Okay, to wrap up the morning skincare routine, what is the product we always need to apply with the rain or shine, guys? Yes, the sunscreen. I discovered a new sunscreen that my dry skin really likes, and I think oily skin types would really like this one as well. Because I've received many questions from my oily skin type subscribers, is there any sunscreen that doesn't make my skin go all shiny? I don't like it super dewy, I just want a matte, like skin-like looking finish, yeah? This could be your saviour. Sunbami V10 Hyo Air Fit Sunscreen. This is a mousse-like texture that is really lightweight. I'm just gonna put it on on one side over here because there's another sunscreen that I want to show you guys. I'll apply that on the other side. It absorbs really quickly. It doesn't leave any dewy finish and it has a really nice citrusy smell to it. So pleasant. 
And this is non-comedogenic with 10,000 ppm of niacinamide, so it'll help to control sebum levels, great for oily skin types. And it doesn't leave the skin looking too dewy. I mean, it is a bit dewy, but I wouldn't say it's massively dewy. It just leaves the skin feeling really pleasant. And it feels gentle on the skin and it doesn't sting your eye either. Perfect. I think this is a really good sunscreen that feels light on the skin with a quick absorption, no eye cast and suitable for all skin types. Another sunscreen I wanted to show you is this one over here, Purito Wonder Relief Centella Daily Sun Lotion. As a dry skin type, I am obsessed with this. I have featured this in my top three ultra light sunscreen shorts video. This is infused with 300,000 ppm of Centella Asiatica extract. Really soothing on the skin and it's ultra lightweight. This one is lightweight too, but this one is seriously ultra lightweight. And look how quickly it absorbs, guys. It just whoo, disappears immediately. Whoo. I love the sunscreen because most sunscreens gives me that tight feeling, no matter how hydrating or dewy it is. But this one, doesn't have any of that. This sunscreen feels a little bit tight on my dry skin now, but I have an extremely dry skin, guys. This one, I don't get that at all. So on the days when my skin is extremely dry, I reach out for this, 100%. It just keeps my skin feel like I've got like a really good moisturizer on with a sun protection at the same time. So extremely dry skin type, Go with this. For those of you with any other skin types, including oily, go for this. For those of you who prefer to use sunstick instead of sunscreens, this is my recommendation. Talk about cotton soft sunstick. I'm not a big fan of sunsticks in general, but oh, this one, I showed you this previously in my shorts video, me carrying this around to my trip to Paris Disneyland. It was a real hot summer day when I visited, and this was the sunstick that I carry around in my hand all the time to reapply. It feels really soft and silky on the skin, leaving a semi matte finish without losing hydration. With sunsticks, it's hard to find the one that's suitable for all skin types. It's usually one or the other. Some sunsticks work amazing for oily skin types, but those are usually hated by dry skin types. And some sunsticks work amazing on dry skin types, and it's hated by oily skin types, saying that they're too dewy and shiny on my skin. Then it comes to this one, leaving just right semi matte finish without losing hydration. And it's infused with evening primrose flower extract and herb seed oil, really soothing and moisturizing on the skin. Mwah. Chef's kisses to this sunstick. Hope you found this ultimate winter morning skincare routine helpful. If you're interested in shopping for any of the products I'm showing in today's show, all the shopping links and discount code will be down in the information section below, so go and check them out. And please leave a comment down below. What is your go-to product for your autumn and winter skincare routine and which products has interested you? I'd love to hear from you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next Korean beauty show. Annyeong!